King of Paul, hello and welcome to the kill stream. Hello, can you hear me? I can. What's up? It's been a long time, man. It has been. It's been many years, actually. <laughs> Congrats on your sober, thank your sober you, sober sobriety. I appreciate that. Three you weeks. Needed to do it, man. That, those last three months were pretty. Uh, they were pretty dark, man. <laughs> they were pretty rough, yeah. And you know, I didn't really understand how worried people were about me until I got sober, and then I read a lot of these messages, and they're like, "Man, I thought you were." <laughs> You know, you might. Yeah, a lot of people thought you were. That was it. Yeah, that that like I might you die. Talking yeah. about the seizures, I was like, oh, that's not. That's, <laughs> I didn't have any this good. time, but I've had them before. Yeah, and uh, they're not good now. So, um, but yeah, um, it's 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 been great. I lost some lost some weight, still losing weight, and uh, three weeks sober. So, well, keep it up, man. Keep it up. When do you get your next chip? What is it? Three months? You get it at, th at thirty days. They actually have thirty. 30 I didn't know they had a set, sixty, yeah. but they do have a sixty. So thirty, sixty, ninety. And then I think are they going to get? Are you getting a months. sponsor at all? Or I have one. Doing, um... I have one actually. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Now I haven't talked to. I don't want to reveal anybody. You know, you're not really no, supposed no, no, to tell. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so I w there's a lot of stories <laughs> that I want to tell from AA, quite frankly. But you're not really supposed to do that, right? You're yeah, not don't do it, man. So Just I don't. Write it out. Yeah. And yeah. Thing, uh, I talk about going to AA, but I don't share the stories. The only people that would like that kind of content, the people who don't like you. So just yeah, I feel that way. And also, you're kind of dishonoring AA or whatever. But I talk about going, but I don't talk about what's said there or the people and stuff. So, right. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a, it's been a great change. Uh, still some stuff to, to fix, of course, but, um, yeah, it's been great. I appreciate the kind of words. Yeah, man. So you're watching the Ashton stuff, man. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this guy. I mean, he's, you know, this guy, we, we, we helped him with the show and everything like that. We wanted to do a bunch of different content and it became like a feud with you and him about shit that wasn't even true. I mean, when I found out he lied about the church, I was like, right. you mean to tell me he didn't even get you kicked out of the church? I was like, what the fuck? So. Yeah. Godwinson uh, actually told me the same thing. And he was like, I thought that was real for years. Yeah. And, he told everybody. Well, he told all of us that, yeah. you know, that it was real. And that was like, that was his initial beef with you essentially, at least from my, my perspective, right. uh, that seemed to be where his contingency was is, Oh, he got me kicked out of church. He went after my family. Da, 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 da. Um, and he just rode off the coattails of that. And that seemed to be the case. But then when we, when we all were trying to start, we were like, Hey man, let's just talk about anything else. But, Nick Fuentes and Ralph, it was, uh, it just wasn't going to happen. Plus there was, it was, it was a bunch of other shit in between all that. But, um, you well, know, you I wish the guy the best. I mean, he's had this eating problem even when we knew him and we, we were friendly with him. And, um, I mean, he is a pathological liar, so you have no idea what the fuck he's saying is true or not and what's going on. But the guy's clearly over 500 pounds. He's still eating his feelings, um, which is, unfortunate you know i tried to help the guy with like we would like uh like i would go to the gym or i'd show him stuff and I, i'd be working out and be like you could try this you could try that and the guy would like order on the call like a dozen big macs and, like two fucking large pizzas <laughs> at the same time and we'd be like and i'd be like dude what the fuck i gave up after like the third month i was like this guy's just not gonna go and well that's what i don't you know. know if people understand i've heard some stories about him too you know the seven bags of chips at one time and people family size, yeah, all the eight bags of chips yeah yeah, yeah. You know, say or whatever size. it was well yeah. people think that that's like made up or it's some type of exaggeration it's actually no. not if anything, no, it's, it's underselling not. it. Yeah, like when, he eats when, like uh, that. It, it really became. I thought it was made up too <laughs> when the whole cabin thing happened, and him and, and him and the the surfer guy had a falling out. Yeah. Um, you know, we talked to him, and we were friends. We were friends with him, so you know, we talked to him, and he was really down. And he just he we this was right when that punt the gun stuff was happening, and he was just I was like just stay with it. And I mean, literally at the same time we're saying stay with it, the guy's like Uber eating like a like I'm telling you, it was like nuts. He'd Uber eat like a couple dozen fucking things of chicken nuggets and fucking large pizza all at once, like all at once. And it was like, whoa. Well, people like, think not just like a, one meal. It'd be like five meals for one person. Well, remember yeah, that? Like it was nuts. He did some eating videos um, a, a couple years uh, ago. Yeah, the chicken nugget challenge and the sushi. Well, people think that that was like out of the norm for him, but that he was. <laughs> That's not really. That's kind of how he ate in the first place, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah those he, are he eats like that. You can't. I don't know if you can find those easily now. But yeah, where he's eating like a hundred McNuggets or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just you know when you have a. An, I mean, you know addiction. When sure. You have a food addiction. It's just like any other addiction, and and it's hard to quit, especially when things fuck with you. You, and he gets fucked with, just like me sure. or you get fucked with. And I don't. I don't wish. I don't know. Well, it's dopamine. And, I don't know oh, if people so, understand. Like, when food I saw the like, stream, I yeah. saw the stream that night. And I, I, you know, I tuned in for like 15 minutes just to see what, how he looked and stuff. And he looked rough. And I was like, in my head, I was like, did he just leave the hospital today? And then Worski put him on cam. 
like was like, Hey man, we got to make some money. Let's get on the show. And it's like, he's supposed to be probably bed rest. Probably That's has what to I thought be too. For like, you know what I mean? He just left the hospital. Well, you know, Warski um, doesn't give a fuck about him for sure. Cause he doesn't well, give a fuck about I mean, anybody. I, he never gave a fuck when we were running <laughs> yeah. the show. The guy just showed up for 10 minutes, asked what, what was going on. And then that was it. Then he just, we go live and they go live and that was it. And I mean, even now it's like the guy's in the hospital for what? Two weeks or whatever. And Warski doesn't do a single stream. Well, yeah, Warski, like, why did you fire make, something? And up? like, this is your, this is your job. This is what you say you want to do as a career is this drama, drama podcasting stuff. And you know, you do the same thing. You're a podcaster who makes the money and you know, you know the business. And if you're not streaming, you're not making money, bro. So, so just cause he's in the hospital doesn't mean Warski couldn't go on live and talk about some content or well, whatever think of the how many shows the guy was recovering. Think of how many shows Warski has done over his career. I mean, just turn the camera on, dude. Like, are you that pathetic? But if you look at the history, like he always had a co-host uh, on those shows. But still, it's like he could have done it. Uh, yeah. Kyler or yeah, whatever exactly. The fuck the guy's Get that name ball. Is. Like, exactly. And had a temporary, or maybe even Pot Awful. I remember him yeah. and Jesse Pot Awful were friends. I don't know if that's still the case. You know, what I'm saying is, is that if this, if your co-host is like out of commission and he's also your roommate, like you guys work together and live together to pay the bills. Um, you know, and he's literally in the hospital bed and he can't do anything. You might, you might have to step up and just do the show not wait right. for, wait till the guy gets out of the hospital and, and tell him to hop up on cam the same day he gets out. It's he gets very, released. It's very predatory. Yeah. I mean, it's very predatory. It's just nutty. Yeah. It's like, I thought that at the beginning, it was like, they must be, he must need some money. Warski or PPP or both. Well, because... he didn't, I mean, he didn't stream for like two weeks and, and you know, Toronto is not cheap. I mean, their, oh. their apartment's at least $3,000 a month. It's very you know, expensive. That's expensive ass fucking Canada's expensive as shit. So I, I don't I don't know how he fucking affords half the shit out there. I mean, have you seen their food? I mean, people make jokes about their grocery store prices all the Dude, time. Dude, it's ridiculous. I've actually looked at cost of living in Toronto because Toronto is one it's of the nuts. safest cities uh, in North America. So is Merida, where I live. And so I was comparing it to Toronto, and it's similar on the crime stats and safety. But on the cost of living, it's like four or five times more. Um, and it's yeah, like it's two or three it's times nuts. more than the U.S. Even you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, it's um. Well, crazy. that doesn't even include the taxes you pay. Oh, yeah. you, you know you got to pay for the the health care and all this other shit. Um, it's just it's extremely expensive to just. Live. I mean, Worski kind of touched on it. in one of his streams. He mentioned that buying a case of beer was fifty dollars, and that's like Bud Light. That's you know, that's like you know, like your regular beer, and it's like whoa, not even imported. So you're just like holy shit, fifty bucks for a case of beer is nuts. I couldn't, yeah, I was about to say, I did, you know, I did, so some things are more expensive here, like Zelda cost me like 90 something dollars, which I was like, what the fuck, yeah. I should have just downloaded it, well, it's because they imported it, and the Mexican government makes money yeah, off the import it, yeah. fees, alright, let's see, Indian Chartsdale sent $3 right. PPP we is weren't hopelessly going there. addicted to food, it's just like Brian here and his addiction, he sees fat fucking right. cocks and All just right. has to put them in his mouth. Much like PPP wow. and All his right. dozen we, Big Macs, we were, addiction is sad. We were having a friendly conversation. Isn't the isn't that the same guy that hangs out with Flamenco and those guys and and uh, Kino Shea? Um, Remember that black guy? I don't think he hangs the out with them. Crew? I don't know if he hangs out with. Yeah, him. he was hanging out in Kino Shea's server when Kino Shea and all those guys yeah, were fucking with you. He was things. talking. He well, was talking IRL. to him, but he was kind of talking shit at him. I think a yeah. little bit, but yeah, I don't know. No, I mean he did at first, but then he just started hanging out with most of those guys that were fucking with your IRL. I mean, I remember specifically him sitting in there. So I don't know why he's donating money to you when he's he was trying to ruin your life. So that's strange, but okay. But yeah, look, I'm I'm ahead. staying off that. We're keeping it friendly. I'm not, and I talked about some of the stuff. You know, I have some regrets about certain things. Um, but, you know, certain others, it's like, well, I didn't do that. But whatever. Uh, it, the PPP thing, um, you know, him lying about the church. I'm glad you mentioned that, though, because I had that same conversation with Godwinson, and he said, well, I thought that was real. You know, I thought I was. Yeah, we all thought that was Yeah, true. he's like, I thought I was doing the right <laughs> thing, basically, right? You know, I was fucking with this guy who's fucking with other people, which I have fucked with people, but not like that. And so, you know, that did kind of bother me. And also, there's enough dirt about me already. Like, just stick to the truth, you know? <laughs> Right, like yeah. I don't know. You can, uh, yeah, that's kind of. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. You know what There's I mean? Just talk about on, on a lot of people. You can just yeah, kind of just, just tell the but. truth. Like, what the fuck? There's plenty of shit to to make fun of or fuck with me over that's actually true. Right. So, I don't know. Um, I will say this on a side note, just to get off of PPP for just a second, because sure. I don't I don't have a lot of time. I had cool. time earlier. I was waiting for a couple hours, but um, but I'm about Even to pick Chuck up my kid. But, um, all right, hold on. I'll let this Ralph go through. And I'll stupid, you. and I won't show you my cock all burn. Right. Spin all you want. All right, go ahead. And um, say what you're okay. going to say there. Uh, but isn't it? Is, uh, have you been enjoying this Joshua Connor Moon shit? I have yes, been I have. My ass off at of this I have. fucking retard. Now, so this dumb, stupid, fucking beta retard. This broke dick nigga has been so retarded. 
it's all of his fault too. He keeps blaming all these trannies and all these people that he doesn't have. He doesn't provide any evidence, by the way, of anything he says. He no. just says, "Don't worry, it's happening," and then, um, and then it just you know shit happens. But it's all this nigga's fault. I mean, it's always been his fault. It's it's never been like the sites or like the the people fucking with him. It's it's just a product of his own mouth and what he does. It's just stupid. Agreed. And y- bad, you know, he started. Okay. Anonymous sent three dollars. Congrats on the kid. Didn't know you were a father. I knew that about King and Paul. Are oh, you talking, talking about me? Yeah, yeah I got, I got yeah. kids. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah, I've, so I've been monitoring. I stopped going to Kiwi Farms because I was like, I don't need to read this negativity, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's like if you read it every day like I was doing, it starts – It you can't help but let it seep into it your brain. You. Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, it'll fuck with you. It, it's not it'll healthy to read that shit. So I stopped no, reading not. it, and then right around the time I stopped going to the site, it was like April 25th. I remember because it was like the day that I quit drinking, the day before, I think. And so – I stopped going to the site, and then I don't think you can get on there from the clear net now. Isn't it all tour? No, uh, so he got – okay. He or did he get back fuck, on the clear so, net? Yeah, go ahead. Um, and it's all his fault, too. I mean, he keeps blaming Keffels and these trannies and right. the drop Kiwi Farm thing. That that happened because of, because of what happened before that. What happened before that is he fucked with Zoom. You remember Zoom, right? Yes, 100%, yeah. So Zoom, Zoom got out of the like the whole whatever the internet doxing business, I guess, and he got into business with some dude of one of his buddies of his, and they opened up some data center um, called Path Networking, and they they actually exploded. It was like a startup that blew up, and they went out and they made a shitload of money, and they ended up buying a bunch of other data centers all around the world. Well, Josh, Josh one of Josh's data center they had at the time was owned by Zoom and Path Networking, and Zoom had some disgruntled employee. Uh, go on Kiwi Farms and basically uh, post his new docs and and a bunch of and leak a bunch of shit that was internal data from the this this networking company that Zoom was a CCO of, and um, the the Path Networking contacted Josh and said, "Hey, can you can you remove that stuff that has a lot of our sensitive stuff of how, how our systems work?" And Josh in Josh fashion, you know how he is. He published all the emails unredacted. He called the owner a pedophile and a sadist with no evidence. He, you know, he dropped the full docs. He used the guy. He, he put it all out there. He went on stream and announced everyone should just target this place. Um, and then, like, within a week, uh, he got a criminal subpoena. I think it was, like, a subpoena from the Canadian government because Path Network is located in Canada um, to hand over his servers uh, from his data center to his data center that he had. And he freaked out because um, they owned it. They owned the data center that was that. So then Josh had paid some fucking guy to walk into the to the building and take the servers and run and mail them to him over in Serbia. And then right when that happened, the all those trannies jumped down his throat because they saw, oh, shit, he's going through some shit. Let's get on. Right. I had no idea about the backstory. I knew a little bit about the path stuff, but I didn't know all yep. that. Yeah, so he, he started all that bullshit unnecessarily. I mean, all he had to do was ignore Zoom and shit. He knew that Zoom and them owned his company that he was using, they, that he was he was underneath. So it made no sense why he would do that, but he's an idiot. I mean, it's Josh. You already know this. He's a fucking moron. He's always been a moron. Um, well, so turn- all, that, all that shit Go went ahead. down first. The site got temporary down for like a week. Then he, and then he, as he was trying to set it up, the, the drop Kiwi Farm stuff happened. And all the rest of that shit is just history of him just fucking with these trannies and them going balls deep down his throat. But what happened essentially is all these T1 providers and these ISPs basically agreed that, hey, this site is just – this .com site and the, the owner is just blacklisted from Anonymous having sites. Anonymous sent oh, $3. What's the going rate for a professional server thief? I don't know. I'm not sure what that costs. I don't know. Well, you could say he technically – okay. You could call it server theft. He, he owns he the equipment. hardware. Yeah. Yeah, but he had a subpoena to give over that hardware, and he just conveniently paid someone to come get it before they grabbed it. That's essentially what happened. See, I had no so, idea. I didn't know that at all. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it running out of his like fucking house now, or his apartment, or whatever he lives up in Serbia. He's got it. Uh, he's got it all set up there on his own on his own personal internet because he can't he can't get a line. So he all, all that shit that happened with the drop Kiwi Farm stuff with Cloudflare dropping him and all that stuff. But he started um, that he's too. Been just battling. So he started going after Ke- he started going after Keffels. He did a mad at the internet on Keffels when everybody else was. Was fucking with him too, and he's like, "Let me get in on this." Yeah, you about know? the destiny stuff. Yeah, yeah, he went and over then, the whole destiny. And you know, yeah. Keffels is like, "All right." I mean, it's, at the end right. of the day, his site, his site's only down because of his own fucking mouth. I mean, I told him in 2018 when I mean, you and I both used the site at one point. It was sure. decently enough to use it. I agree. It, I stopped using it over a year ago because it was just too shit. It was garbage. When your sub threat, when you're when they made that little gun sub form thing happen, that's when it really. I mean, that well, honestly, it's that's a, when it went down. You took him out because you know, that was a so that a lot was a waste. Of, a lot of people had told me that actually. 
actually, um, that you can yeah. measure the well, decline I mean, in quality of the, the site because it was a personal you vendetta. Had the Claire Bear Chud Buds leak shit happen, right? Yeah. I, I, I don't mean to cut you off. That's I just, fine. I got to no. here in a couple minutes. That's cool. Go ahead. Yeah, the Claire Bear leak Chud Bud shit happen. And what do we see? We see fucking Brian Holloman in North Carolina and this <laughs> Christorian X guy, uh, you know, uh, coming up with all these crazy ideas that I run the internet and, and with Zoom and, and all this nutty shit and passing along to Jim and all these fucking idiots and Josh. And all this stuff, and then, uh, then you see him. You see the the Christorian X guy going over to the admins of Kiwi Farms and bribing them to look the other way so they can fuck with you. And it's like, and Josh is like, "That's okay, that's fine, that's justified, doesn't matter." And it's like, okay, well then, why you've been hacked a dozen times? There's no way anybody could trust you with your information, um, with any personal information. With Josh, you just you just couldn't do it, even if you thought that was the case. And then you're over here, and you let your staff members just do a bunch of shit under bribery. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? And it's, it's, like, it's just not a way to run a uh, run a business. And I mean, that is his business, technically speaking. So, I just don't understand. He's a he's a moron, and he and his his site being down is his own fault. Now it's never coming back on the clearnet. He's he's got to do a dark website to a hundred people, if that, uh, for and, the rest of the time. Yeah, I don't I don't see it coming back to the clearnet. Um, and like you said, the 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 form with me, it you can just measure the decline in the site when they started that up. Because it was a personal yeah. vendetta. Well, it was already going down a year prior to that. That's but true. Re- but that was when it was the, like, the beginning of the end because him and Jim, they started that personal vendetta with you. So it, it, that, that was just it. And it was like, okay, so you're going to go to war uh, with a streamer. And, uh, you know, everybody makes mistakes and everybody has their own fuck-ups. Just like I fuck up, you fuck up. Sure. But these guys were, like, just trying to get you to fuck up in their own way as much as possible. I mean, you already know. Some of these guys well, want breaking, you dead. They're breaking their insanity. own rules as far as interfering with people and, like, getting involved. And, you know, they're supposed to observe. And the old Kiwi Farms, I was I used it, right? I was there. And yeah, we both so, did. Yeah, both and, did. and so if somebody was telling bullshit or making up a fake story, they would get checked in the thread and be like, that's not real. You know, that's bullshit. Yes. And yes, it slowly became. Window years yes. Ago. Yeah, that went away completely. That's right. Uh, where well, it's just well, like. What was then pushed was is they'll tell a kernel truth. Truth, and then they'll just spin their own narrative and and it is what it is it's just you know josh is getting what he deserves he was told by me and other people in 2018 and 2017 that if he kept kept acting like a retard and and posting all these crazy shit as the owner of the site over and over again that it would just his site would not exist and he would fucking either end up in cuffs or alone in some fucking third world shithole and here he is now and and it couldn't have happened to a better person. I couldn't agree more. Quite frankly, couldn't happen to a better fucking piece of shit. So I have been monitoring this situation. I I got to bounce. Thanks, man. Uh, Appreciate you stopping by. You too, man. So, it's good uh, you you take care. You take care too, man. King of Paul, blast from the past. Throwback Thursdays. Wow, I did not expect that call in. I think he was. He said he was in there for a minute. Um, I just happened to look down. You know, I'm not always looking at Telegram. And so I looked down. I was like, oh, fuck, that's King of Paul. I think I'd seen him in the chat or something, either the cozy chat or the sunset chat or somewhere around, or he responded to something on my Telegram. So I'd, I'd seen him around, and then I just looked down, and he was calling in. I was like, what the hell? Um, for those who don't know, me and him had a ton of, I don't know, several classic Gamergate streams, and then... He's had some up and downs in his career, too. And now he's kind of doing his own thing, you know, um, in IRL and stuff. I don't know if he does a lot of streaming and stuff now. But when Gamergate broke out, this guy was getting thousands of viewers per stream and was, like, one of the main nodes of information to the Gamergate audience. And so uh, my early streams are going on his show, actually. And the first stream I was ever on was gone on his stream, I believe. And it was me. Medicare was on there. They called him Internet Aristocrat then. Rogue Star, people like that. Shoe on Head was on some of these. Um, Hot Wheels was on some of these. Frederick Brennan, whatever they call I ain't seen him in a while. Did he pass away? I don't know. I haven't seen him on Twitter. But um, I don't know if anybody knows what happened to him. I was thinking that a few months ago. I was like, damn, I hadn't seen him in a while. But, um, yeah, we have, we have a long history. And then, you know, there was some falling out with him and, you know, controversy or whatever, and he kind of went away. But he came back, and we did a stream with, what was that guy's name? The com- They called him the Commander. He's the dude who was chasing Brianna Wu. Anonymous sent $10. How Jace. I imagine Ralph's sponsor. Jace. So everybody on Kiwi Farms thought this guy was legit. Now, he ended up being a troll. 
He like was chasing Brianna Wu or some shit in his car, and he I think he legit Joanne. flipped his car though. Who are you? Well, we're friends of your sons. <laughs> My son doesn't live with me. We're uh, from Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> What's your name? Well, we're anonymous. I see his cars out front. He went to California or Vegas. I don't know. California or Vegas. When did he leave? I'm sorry, I have to go to work. Where the fuck is he? For, uh, leave me for... alone. I had a brother your son's age. Please let go of my hand. Where the fuck is he, you fucking cunt? I'll take that disc, man, <laughs> and I'll ram it up your box. Billy, Billy, please. Oh. please. It's a guy's mother, Phil. It's a guy's mother. We're from Alcoholics Anonymous. I remember that scene now. <laughs> the Sopranos has so many drops that you can just like, you can relate almost any aspect of life to the Sopranos, which is amazing. <laughs> Shout out to King of Paul. You know, I got respect for him calling in. And, uh, you know, I haven't been talking anything about him or anything in a long time, but, you know, we still have a little, a little history, good and bad. Like I said, um, there's a lot of good there, though, quite frankly. And so, you know, I was like, yeah, why not? We have a good – now, he, you know, only had a certain amount of time, so he was talking more than me. But uh, we we still have that chemistry, actually, because we've done so many shows, even with um, some beef time here and there. We've done so many shows together that I can still just slip back into that. You know what I mean? It's kind of, uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I was I was like laughing internally uh, in a good way while he was on because I was like wow it's just it really is that easy somebody you had chemistry with on air even if you had beef with them it's just like psh, slide right back in so yeah he does talk he you know he's loquacious that's true he's loquacious I'm fairly loquacious myself but um, I you know when I'm the host I'll take a back seat to the guests you know. Years of hilarious beef, to be honest. Yeah, we've had we've had our words back and forth, but you know what? That stuff that I did, um, you know, bringing his ex wife on and all that stuff, I was kind of trying to one up Medicare. You know what I mean? Or just follow up with what he was doing. Now I think about it now. Some of the stuff I did in 2018, it's just like I was just, you know, following this clown's lead. And yeah, I did have beef with him too. You know, um, King of Paul at the time, but. It was like, man, that was really, I was taking it a little too, that was taking it a little too far. Um, so there are, there are a couple of things where I was like, man, I'm looking back, that was kind of fucked up. I mean, I, you know, that's not going to happen, obviously. Uh, my ex-wife or my current wife, no matter what Big Fed was trying to say, that's not going to happen. But, um, of course, he lied to everybody about having her on the show. But um, I could, I can put myself in that position and think about, how I would have felt if that would have happened, right? Uh, and I'd have been pissed. What's hey, up? I don't mean to interrupt. I, oh. I didn't realize I was still in here because I walked away. But, what the? Um, I have thirty minutes to talk if you want. All right, or, just uh, stay. Just you no, you can stay. Why not? I, where, where did you leave off? I'm sorry. I, didn't uh, I was talking about some of the stuff, <laughs> well, some of our history. You know, good and bad. There, I was kind of giving a history lesson. <laughs> to so long. There's like eight plus years <laughs> yeah. minimum, like maybe even almost ten. Oh god, it's that's a long time. 10. That's a lot. There's next way year it'll too be much. ten. Yeah, it'll be ten next year. You could just pick different different years of different times of event so where i was either being a shithead or you were being a shithead yeah or we both were being a shithead <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i was also telling them about some of the good stuff too you know like i mean i think the first stream i was ever on yeah. was actually your stream um so uh, yeah maybe i think so yeah I mean, so was a, well i may have called into that something was, the first big stream was when was milo on. milo yiannopoulos used to call in all the time that was when like alec baldwin and those guys were calling it that yeah was long. Wow, that, that was, was a, long time ago. a long time ago that was almost 10 years ago yeah fuck yes yeah that was me yeah at least man it's been a long time it's been no, a I, can't, I can't even long remember time. half the shit of gamergate anymore i've got like dementia and half that shit i'm in my 30s now it's like, wow. you know what so i can remember mm -hmm. certain big stuff but like some of the day-to-day -day, i would have to go read my blog you know what i mean like read what i wrote that day let me ask you this, because you probably have gotten this, man. A lot of times, I'm the same way. You know, I remember some of the big stuff, but I try to move on with my life and stuff like that. And I'll have some guy come out of nowhere on the side with the most innocuous details of something that, like, really pissy about something, like, years and years and years later. And I'll be like, when did this even happen? I won't even recall it, you know? And they'll get real pissy, like, because it's just, it's been in their head for, like, seven, six, seven years. You know, John Michael Kelly was one of those guys. He came out of nowhere uh, one day, like, I don't know, maybe two years ago, three years ago. Before he like trooned out and was like, oh did my he legit God, seven troon years out? Ago and 
Yeah, he's a tranny now. What? Yeah, he's a leftist tranny. <laughs> no. Yeah, John Michael Kelly. Wait a minute. I swear to God. No. I swear. I swear on the Bible, brother. Holy shit. For those who don't know, he was a, a Gamergate character, but he was kind of like a piss ant character. You know what I mean? Like, he was always nipping at people and not in a, like, oh, yeah. just well, an autistic he, way. He, like, he changed his persona multiple different times. From yeah. the Gamergate stuff, he became some uh, religious right-winger. I mean, it, it seemed more of like he would just adopt personas rather than actual beliefs. Um, and now he's like, a, he went from like a hardcore right-wing extremist guy who called himself like Vaziorm, I think, to uh, leftist, like a hard leftist trend, trend out, and transgender. So That's, it's very strange. I heard God was to like say that on the air. Entire side of this internet and everything like that permanently. I had no idea. I heard God was to say that, and I was like, mm-hmm. I must have missed that. What is that? I thought. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was when he trained. That's when he turned out. He left for good. He got swatted or something by some people. Um, probably the same people that fuck with me or you. Yeah. And um, uh, and he fucked off. And then, like, uh, somebody looked him up, like, six months later, and he was back. He had, like, a brand-new persona, a brand-new name. He had a female name. He was uh, he was saying he was transgender and started HRT. Anonymous sent $3 to the arm cozy, saying tranny is fine. Yeah, you can't say tranny. Um, oh. You're right. Uh, super chatter. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not allowed to say it? Or yeah, no, no you can say know. tranny. You can say tranny, yeah. I hate, I hate this whole – I hate – you know, everything's filtered now. You don't know what you can or can't say anymore. I've said retard one time, and I got warned, and I was like, are you serious? Well, you know, that happened so. to me. So a lot of people have been using kick, but so many people, like, try to report me and follow me to get me kicked off that anytime I say anything, like, faggot or anything, you know, that's, like, borderline or, like, just a – it, yeah. They'll kick me off, right? So well, you know what's <laughs> funny about that is those guys say the same shit. They uh, just say it. They just say it in their their little spots or you know privately yeah, or you know in the in the discords or wherever they're at. You know the twitters and all that shit. They'll say the same words. It's oh, just yeah. kind of funny. Yeah, of course. I mean, everybody does. Plus, just we were talking about this. I think yesterday, tranny just works better. The tran the trannies call each other tranny. You know what I mean? It's like um, yeah, they do. Trans yeah, doesn't do. sound right. Um, transgender is even worse, really. So yeah, tranny just <laughs> tranny just fits. I mean, um, yeah, it really does. I don't know what else to say about them. I mean, they they say they're transgender. I'm not gonna play this pronouns game. I mean, some people identify uh, as fucking helicopters, which is insane. It's all crazy ba- psycho babble bullshit. At the end of the day, it's gender dysphoria stuff. I mean, I, I can't understand that shit. You know, my chromosomes say I'm X. You know, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I can't understand cutting uh, your dick off. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and play this fucking uh, game of like I'm a real woman now. Like, nah, I don't care, man. I'm not gonna sit here and, and understand it. You can be whatever you want, bro. I don't give a shit. Just don't try to. Now, what it to about me. Medicare? Because I saw somebody in chat wanted you to talk about him. Um, what, what about, what, well, I mean, I mean, just, I mean, there's a lot to say about him, but I don't well, know where, where would you want me to say? I don't know. Just whatever you want to say, right? Like, I mean, I don't, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, fuck Jim. Look, the gyms, the, 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 this is how it went down, right? You want, we'll bring it up. All right. Um, me and that Tomba hat guy, we were all, you knew, you already know this. He'll lie. He'll lie and say internet sure. friends are not things you should have. And I don't have any internet friends. You and I both know that's not true. It's never been true. Not at all. Um, he had internet friends. Um, and you know, the whole beef with the outline thing was, uh, that Tomba hat guy and I, which you met him before in our Skype group. Well, we were friend internet we friends with Jim. Uh, that's what people yes, don't understand, yes, we right? <laughs> and we were yeah, all in the yes, same we Skype. That was real. Yeah, that, was that really happened. Real. And we were in the I same Skype. I remember the Kiwi yeah. said I was just like some crazy schizophrenic when I suggested that. And I no. was like, are you fucking, are you retarded? Like, no. that's true. That we actually true. were. And we would but, play video games with him and talk about stuff and like yeah, all kinds of stuff. The whole, yeah. the whole outline thing happened, you know, me and Sarah, you, you already so I'll just yeah. say it. But me and Sarah had our falling out, and you know, I was I was just like, you know, I was in a bad spot. I mean, you'd understand this. You're drinking, you're on Zannies, you're on Benzos, you're doing, you're on a bender for like two weeks. You don't know where you're at, who you are, and I'm talking to the only people that I trusted, and um, I'm fucked out of my mind. I didn't even remember the conversation I had with the guy, and he recorded the whole thing, and then the next day they played it in front of me and that Danny guy, which you remember, you remember when you interviewed her, he called in and sure. said this is wrong. Yeah, I did. That same guy called in. I did, and actually, and, you know, looking back, he was kind of right. Honestly, it was a little bit. Well, I, had, like, I got you know what was insane was is I just filed a restraining order on her because there was a lot of crazy shit she was doing. That bitch was nuts. She killed my dog. I mean, it was fucking nuts. So she stole my car. She killed the dog. She ran. She fled to Ukraine. I mean, it, it just it is what it is. Now I'm not trying to bring her back up. Obviously, but just to give context, like there was a lot of crazy shit with our breakup that made no fucking sense. That I, you know, really put in perspective that I dated a psycho. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, she was uh, uh, you know, a character, I guess. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, you trust me. I, I was with her for three years. We were engaged. She was a psycho. She was a psycho. Um, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. I wasn't allowed to see my friends for years. 
Um, I was just trying to trap in the house. I had to go to work. There was huge trust issues. She believed I was always doing something. And then when we ended, I thought it was mutual. Uh, and, and I'll tell you now for people who have, are thinking about living with their girlfriends and they might be going through some shit. If you break up with your girl, kick her out, kick her out. Don't be nice and say, you can still use the car. You can get your shit together and stay for a month in the guest room. Don't do it, dude. I'm telling you, um, it, it is a fucking roller coaster because the, they drop the mask and they tell you exactly who they are and what they've been about the whole time you've been with them. And it really puts things in perspective. But, um, you know, that whole outline thing happened. Me and her were going in and out and, and, um, he recorded all that. They played it back to me and the Danny guy the next day. And I didn't even know I said all this stuff. And I, I didn't realize that I was coaxed. Half of it was just coaxed into it. And so I apologized to the Danny guy and we worked it out the same day. And that was it. Then a year later, uh, me and that Tomba hat guy get into it and he just, and I, and it was all over. You remember Jonathan Ross? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do actually. Yeah. And all the Kumite shit with the pedophile guys. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's in jail for pedophilia and his friends are all in prison for pedophilia. The jet Rex guy. Uh, is it still in prison for thir- what, is it 36 years for raping his eight-year-old niece for eight weeks straight in a shed and, and recording it? Yeah, exactly. I mean, completely fucked. Well, the Tomba hat guy was in, deeply embedded with these guys and hanging out with them. And our, and our whole falling out was is me telling the guy, hey, stop hanging out with pedophiles. Uh, you probably <laughs> shouldn't do that. It's probably a bad idea, especially with us. So his response was to give that audio to Jim and say, you should play this. And, uh, and then Jim played the audio and set it all up. And then we had one more conversation after that. And I said, why'd you do it? And he said, I made, I made, what was it? I made $2,800 off your ass. That's why. And I said, okay, so you're a sellout. And then I never talked to him again. And that was it. And then after that, he started taking super chats and everything else. Everything became money right after that. It was all money, money, money. And uh, all the shit that he talks about, how you should just never make money on the internet and all this other dumb shit. It went out the window. It was just memory hold by his, his, his followers. And, um, you know, I don't like the guy. I, he's got cancer, some shit, supposedly. I don't believe it, but whatever. If he does, that sucks. I don't wish death upon the fucking guy. He, he did make good enter- entertaining content at the time, but um, he's, I mean, he told me, he was like, well, I'm an asshole, Brian. What'd you expect? And I was like, well, you're right. You're a piece of shit. I mean, <laughs> you're right. You were, you were a piece of shit. The people who, uh, who it was, it is what it is. So. Well, and for those who don't remember, um, he, he set this up all day. He didn't make it clear. I don't think what it was going to be at first, like, but he was hyping it up. No, as, he, didn't. he was hyping it up yeah. as like this big reveal, this big stream. Well, they blame some Scottish autistic guy. And I was like, that guy didn't do it. Oh, I know that guy too. Guy who's in Scotland. That he was, was in our Skype group too. Uh, yeah. 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 Grant. Yeah. They blamed him. And I'm like, the guy can't even function. He's like Christian. He can't get a job. He can't function. Right. Why are you guys blaming? Like, why do you want me to go after some guy who has like legit crippling autism and a bunch of other issues? He's like, uh, you know, it just didn't make, I mean, it was all fucked up at the end of the day. It is what it is. Um, you know, it gave me a lot of perspective and a lot of things. I had Josh up my ass at the same time. Um, and I, I took a step back and then I met my, my now wife, um, uh, around that time. And we became best friends for over a year and we've been married ever since you know we got kids well um, i mean it's, it was actually that that changed my whole trajectory of what i wanted to do with my life after that point so well yeah i was about to say it sounds like you kind of took it and used it for good you know what i mean and it's just like uh, right. yeah i mean uh, it's like a nine day difference i went i went and did electrical i became i went to became a residential electrician i went i applied for the power company i worked for the power company i got my my journeyman's card i became a lineman for the power company and then i became a foreman doing underground power um, and then I started doing contract work, installing 5G towers. And then from there, now I manage, I, I ride, drive around all day and I manage half, half, half of the state I'm in and That's pretty cool. get paid salary. And I work when I feel like it. I work from home. I can't, I can't complain. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I can't complain but I mean, I at the time, um, you know, it was, and of course I piled on, you know, I'm not going to hide that I was complicit. Yeah, I mean, everybody was in, but, it. I mean, if you're, look, I'm not going to take it personal because if you were in the drama community and your career was making content off of drama, I get it. Um, yeah, you know, it was kind of my I job. Gotten it, I was going through it. But I mean, but, but like, nowadays, it was like he wanted you to fucking like kill yourself. You know what I mean? Like it was that type. I don't know if people understand, but like he hyped this up all day and there was like 10, 15,000 people watching. Uh, it, was a pretty, it was a pretty rough. Yeah. It was a pretty rough couple of years uh, yeah. after that happened. It was pretty bad. I had a lot of crazy stuff go on and then my father's shit happened. Um, yeah. And, and that just piled. That was just a, a kick in the gut. Um, and it is what it is on that too. Um, you know, I'm not my father, so I can't, I can't really sure. argue on that one. It is what it is. 
Yeah. Um, and it just sucks. I don't wish that upon anybody. I mean, yes. you, it's just like when you talk about when your, your mom died, uh, you know, you don't wish that upon anybody. You don't want to, you don't want to not have that. to cut a family, uh, your father. I wish your somebody dead, honestly, before I wish them to suffer that. Um, cause that is like, y- yeah, it's not fun cutting out a family member. Nah, no, dude, you, that's, you know, uh, took care of you and stuff. that's the hardest thing <laughs> that you'll it's ever not, go to. It's not yeah. fun, you know, and somebody and, you know, in the, the CPS thing, you brought it up. Yeah. I, I can kind of briefly, you know, what happened I was some guy, uh, some guy made a, an account on Kiwi Farms and posted uh, all my information up there again, brand new stuff. And um, it was it was funneled to me screenshots from a Discord where Gator was like sharing that to people and saying you should call, you should call. And somebody actually called and told them that I was um, harboring my father in my basement and I was allowing them to molest my daughter. And uh, obviously, when they came there, they walked the house. They realized I hadn't spoken to my father, or seen him in years, um, let alone live near him. Um, and then they just put it in a file and they wrote it off as like a missed call. And I haven't heard anything since you knock on wood. God bless that. Um, but it is not fun. If you have kids, it's not a fun experience to have people fuck with you like that. Um, when you didn't do anything to them. Yeah. It's um, beyond the pale. And, you know, and, uh, and at the time, I mean, you were still beefing. So I was just generally like furious. That's when I think I was like, I'm ready to fight this. Yeah. That was right around <laughs> that time. I was too. like, I was like, you but just I was like, take my kid away for no why reason. Why is he so mad? I and, you know, didn't Gator do that. Was, Gator was yeah. your co-host at the time when yeah. this all happened, you know, and I, and I never had, I, you know, that's another well, Gator thing. Gator hates Ryan you. Hallman, I've never spoken. Yeah, he hates you. I don't you. know why he does, you know, and you can, me and you, you had reason. This. I've never spoken to this. <laughs> that's what I say. Me and you I had reason to beef. Like we had, you know, disagreements and fallings out or whatever, but he was never a part of any of that. Uh, that's why. That's why when it all went down like that, I said, and he Gator was your co-host at the time. I said this. Yeah. This had to been Ralph thing. <laughs> was it? Because I don't understand. Because it literally, I was like, why would Gator? I mean, I've never spoken to the guy. Um, I've never had beef with the guy, and he just kept. I mean, he just it would just go on and on and on with this guy. And I I made like two response videos on my phone one day. It's like years ago, where I was like, Gator, I wish you the best. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you. I don't have any issues with you. And then he did that whole seven. You're, when you back when you had your secure servers thing, he did the seven ninety nine Brian lore yeah. paywall, well, where you kept correcting him every five minutes. Yeah, because he was wrong he on so much basic stop. shit. He's yeah. just wrong. <laughs> That's what I said. I said I was like, if you're gonna do it, you could at least contact me, and I would just done an interview with you, Gator. But you're instead trying to like. You're trying to ruin my life, and I don't even know why. Like, I have no, I'm assuming Ralph's just putting you up to it because why, why the fuck else? I don't know you. And to this day, he's still, I mean, did you see the Chud Buds leaks? It's, it's, we read it on air on, on, uh, on Percy Cassidy's show, The Scuffs Express, and, um, um, it's just crazy psycho babble shit. He believes I run the internet that I'm, I'm, I'm everyone's handler. I write your show. <laughs> I write Godwinson's show. I write PPP show, and I work, and I work for Zoom and, 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 uh, and Zoom. I go. I report to Zoom, and sh- I mean, it's it's schizophrenic. By the way, I I'm, see. I'm, constant, I'm, I'm concerned the guy has medical problems. I do. I he does. That's what I'm saying. I see. So Shaggy and Chess says Gator is next level mentally ill about King of Paul. He do, yeah. He I thinks mean, he, he does the same shit to So Shaggy, and it's like, dude, you're fucking crazy. Like, I don't know you. Why? Like, he comes up with fan fiction in his head, and it it drives us nuts because I've always wanted him to just fire up a stream and instead of typing the shitty types uh, on Twitter all the time, just to say it because if you heard it. It, it'd be so unhinged that you just you couldn't help but laugh. You'd be like, "This guy needs medication," but it is. I mean, he can't even buy a car, Ralph. Have you seen this? <laughs> he, he rides like, his bike. He still Imagine this fat motherfucker yeah, riding a, a bike up to Walmart. He, he, you know, he was Mister Mister Radiology Guy, Mister Money Maker, Mister Filmmaker, and he's still bagging groceries and can't buy a car. And he's got roommates that are his parents. And he's yeah. what our age? Yeah, I mean, he is. Pathetic. He's like a year or two younger I can't, than me. I, think. I don't even have anything bully to bully the guy with because the guy's living the worst dream. And then on top of that, he's friends with flamenco. That fucking guy? Are you in nuts? That's uh, whatever, bro. Pointing at pictures. I'm, could you imagine, Ralph, if we were all together hanging out at a bar and he sees like this little five year old and he points and goes, That's my waifu. That's my waifu right there, Ralph. Like, how insane is that? Why would you do that in front why of he, at, at a fucking at a convention? Why did he post those pictures? Why did he post anything from that event? Because he's like this simp getting knows, dragged dude. along. It's terrible. It was, it's like, I think he thought it was a W because he was with two girls at a convention. But I mean, it go it goes straight to an L when they when they're mo- I mean, they they knew what they were doing. You're gonna record a guy pointing at a fucking little anime, little anime oh. girl and say, "Don't worry, bro. She's three thousand years old," and say, "That's my waifu." That's my waifu. Like, who says that shit? You're a grown ass man, bro. Go, go touch grass. Go call that blonde Puerto Rican or something. I don't know. But There's a problem with that guy. It's a problem with it. He reminds me of Josh in a lot of ways, honestly. Uh, because. Oh, you know what? You're on air. I want this with you. This actually happened. This oh. actually happened. And I want you to, I want you, you weren't involved in any of this, but it was the funniest shit ever. And I want to bring it up because it's about, it's about Gator. Sure. So back, remember when you were in Tampa and uh, Ybor City? Yes, I do. 
with pay, and you had you had the, you Dick, had the Airbnb. Dick Masterson's Road Rage, and yeah, yeah I was yeah, there in Tampa. You, you were at an Airbnb, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna say where, but you were at an Airbnb, yes. Airbnb, right? Yes. Okay, so one of your guys like called me really fucking drunk that night because I, you know, I lived I live in Florida, and um, he was like, "Come on down here, motherfucker!" And I think the pay girl was in the background. There was like a girl in the background laughing well, who's this? And they were explaining what was going on. And I was like, I said, well, I said, is, where's Gator? And the girl, the girl pipes up and says that Gator wasn't invited because she thought he was too weird. He was creepy. And then the guys, they start laughing about it. And I was like, no, I was like, what? And I was just like, I'm not going to go down there to Ebor and go, go, go start shit with Ralph. You guys have fun. And I hang out. But is that true? Is Gator not invited to the, that is true because there was a, there that is true. And he wanted to come. You. Yes, that's true. And he would always tell me how he was going to get with pay. And he told me how he was going to get with yeah. Alice too. And he would talk about all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, man, you know, da, da, da. Yeah. yeah, they called but me. Drunk, I knew and she was the one that she was like, drunk. I don't know if it was her. I'm assuming it was her. Well, see, I knew like these her. girls. So I knew he had zero said, chance. No, Gator, she was like, ill Gator's not allowed here. He's creepy is what she said. And they started laughing. Yeah. They were fucking drunk. They were super he drunk. He just knew he was, was like, going to get fuck? in. He knew he was going to get in pay his pants. Yeah, that was just something he thought <laughs> was going to happen. He was talking to her for a while, but, like, you know, it never. And then so it's fucked up. Never I can tell this whole story. Um, of course, I was friends. You know, I knew her, and then I knew Alice later on, and so I knew that he had zero chance. But, you know, I would just tell him, yeah, good you know, good try or keep going. Who knows, right? I was just encouraging, right? Like, whatever. What are you supposed to say? Uh, but he would be in private chats with me, and he would just be going on and on about how he was going to fuck pay and get with her, and he can save her. He literally would say this, I can save her, and, and be serious about it. By the way, she I didn't need saving. save but her. Save her from what? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, and he would say that specifically about Alice, too. And I was like, uh, of course, I knew. Um, some things. And, I wish uh, Gator went and saved Alice. You know how funny that shit would be if you saw Gator on the IP2 oh man my God. Trying to Dude, save I Alice. wish that would have happened I'm now. Like, Dude, Dude, it's serious. I'm not making any of this up. $3 imagine Gator trying to run game on a bitch Dude, in fucking crime. it's bad. And then Pay was kind of like sketched out by him. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. yeah, he was originally going to come down and he must have said like something too creepy or acted like he was going to get some play, which that, of course that wasn't going to happen. And she like, it sketched her out. Yeah. Um, that's, I guess he's lucky. She never fucked him over. She probably still has the DMS. So. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> she's not that type of person. Yeah. Of course she could have just said. gave him to me, you know, I would have ran with him, but she doesn't even do like, she's not that type of person. Uh, but I had talked to her about right, it and, right. and then, and then I found out, you know, what's funny is I found out she was in a relationship. I'm not trying to put all her stuff out there, but I found out later on because we were talking about it, she was in a relationship, and I knew the guy uh, that she was in a relationship with. Uh, talked to him a lot back then. I hope he's still well if he's listening. Um, good guy, great guy actually. Um, actually, well, I won't tell. Any, I won't say anymore because he could maybe be identified. Um, but um, I found this out, and Gator was still talking to me about getting with her and what do you think I have a chance? And man, what you know, I'm sending this and that. And of course, I knew she was getting boned by you know a friend of mine, and so I, had to, I didn't even tell him because I was like, I don't even have the heart to tell him. I don't know if she ever did tell it's him, tough. but yeah, I was like, I don't even have the heart to tell this guy that she's getting you know. Back poor guy. guy. Poor know, like, have you seen the shit with his sister? His sister wants to bang a deer. She's yeah, like, I did. Bone. I did. His sister is a uh, is a. Uh, character as well i mean it makes sense man the guy <laughs> pretends to be an alligator you know they have like a type of furry called scalies i've been waiting for this man to turn on the camera in his alligator suit for years. <laughs> so maybe one day he'll crank it on and he'll be at a fur convention explaining to us he's scared to stream food. Brian. like Who what knows? the fuck like he never he never fucking like he streams like once in a blue moon and well, it's he get, all right, it's about so anime. He doesn't even stream, Ralph. Have I you know. seen some of the shit? He, he premieres it. He pre-records everything because he can't yeah. handle the chat. Yeah. He'll get like two viewers. I'll be one of them because I love Gator. <laughs> and um, I'll, give him good, I'll give him a good nod and shit. And, and the last one was with this ER guy. Yeah. Um, and he's not, he's not a bad content creator. No, he's but, not. I mean, Ralph, li literally, Ralph, this is how bad Gator was. Okay, He goes on live. He's got Aiden Paladin. It's him and, and this ER guy. He doesn't, he doesn't have anything pre-written about what this ER guy covers or anything like that. He starts scrolling through Twitter just going, have you seen this happen today? Have you seen this happen today? And he gets about 20 minutes in and Aiden Paladin goes, well, this is kind of boring. I'm going to have to bounce. And then he deletes the fucking stream and claims he's got to edit it. And it has, he hasn't uploaded it since. Really? It's no. just gone. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, that was, it was, it's tough. And maybe he did, maybe he did upload it. Cause I haven't checked in like the last two weeks. The last time I checked that fucker was like, don't worry guys. I'll reupload it. I got to edit some stuff. Oh, I got to edit the dead air out. LOL. 
Um, he does that all the time, too. Gator. Where he's it's like, I'm going to edit Brian it. Holloman land. I'll tell you what. He's like, I'm going to edit it. He does so, that all the time, and either he just – he's really lazy, right? Like, I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, of course, he's – I think it's less lazy. He just can't be – he can't well, be a fuck. So look, look, Robinson did all of his streams on Gator, right? And and um, he goes on Ranbot. He literally tweets out, I'm going on Ranbot stream to cover the Chud Buds leaks and address Goblins or whatever. So we tune in with Bells on, and this fucker's on there with Ranbot talking about anything but his own leaks and the Chud Buds shit, and he mentions nothing about any of us. And we're like, what the fuck? was this i mean he and then he goes back on twitter after the stream and starts talking shit again and i'm like what the fuck i mean what kind of who what kind of bitch i mean we even told him he could call in at any time any of our shows if we're even streaming or not you know and talk to us and he won't do it he'll sit there and type some dumb shit about i love being on twitter and watching them seethe on air and it's like bro you're a fucking you're a pussy you know he's always been bitching about people for years we talked about it but he's always had like a grudge against you now of course we had reasons to fight but like he would i don't know why he just hated you and he would he had this theory which i never thought this by the way um even if i even co-signed i'd never believed it um i might have said something on air but i never believed that he had this theory that you wanted to be a co-host on the kill stream and that uh, you I were, mean, Ralph, we both know the answer to that, bro. I've always ran my own show. Right. I've yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, Ralph, I <laughs> yeah. want to be your co-host. Yeah, I know. Uh, I've never asked anybody to be anybody's co-host. I mean, even when yeah. PPP asked me, I said, you can you can even ask PPP this. And I said, uh, if you want me to be on your damn show, you're going to have to pay me. Well, it was a shitload of money. I was like, you're going to have to pay me at least. Uh, it was like at least like the equivalent of like five to ten thousand dollars a month. Basically, if you want me to be your co-host and this and that when Worski was fired temporarily. You know, I, I gave him all this crazy shit because there was no way I was going to go on the show and just start and just basically just fuck with you for the end of time and only do Ralph content and nothing else. And I mean, it's miserable. That's just, you, you know, Dark Side Phil dealt with this with the that Sons of Kojima group where the, the Dark Side Phil got followers. They were they would do yeah. a show. They'd watch Phil 12 hours a day, every day, every day and every day. And I mean, that's just nuts. Um, it's just, it's just not, I don't know. It's just not healthy to like stalk somebody. Well, like Cog that does that. Years years. So Cog has been doing that for like a year or two where he just watches well, dude, my on, show. You, every you remember when you went on your anniversary or whatever to Rome and he was yeah. like, he like tricked everyone. He said, Hey, me and Dan, when he raised some money to go to Rome and then he went like what, two weeks after you went. Yeah. Of course. Shit like that. Yeah. Cause he's got money. charges outstanding in Lisbon. He won't pull that again. Still- yeah, he won't pull that again. Uh, no matter what he says on there, he won't pull that again. Because uh, he's very well, lucky that they didn't pick him up before they got out of the country. Uh, yeah. And if I would have found the tourist police sooner, they probably would have. Uh, and so, yeah, I don't think he'll be pulling that again. Um, and in Italy, he might have just gotten arrested right off. But, um, yeah, I'd seen something about that. Um, but, yeah, he's a, he's just weird. It's like, who sits there? I mean, I know he makes well, money the, off of it, but it's like. Him and Vickers sick. are like friends. Or, like, yeah. I mean, Vickers and shit and don't all get me started i don't want to nuts I'll, I'll refrain from comment uh, we won't we won't man, i won't bring it up all i'll yeah. say is that guy is nuts that guy yeah shout out. i won't <laughs> stop you from saying that uh but i won't participate. he's nuts dude there's a lot of crazy stuff around that guy yeah i've seen a few clips recently uh but i won't oh, go into about big black dick he likes big black dick bro i Just... didn't i didn't say what i saw you know you can <laughs> you can describe it if you'd like but uh... <laughs> no i'll say it i'll say it <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he said it. He said it. He was drunk as shit, too, you know? He was a little inebriated when he said it. He likes, he likes it. That's Dude, what he that's likes, man. That's unbelievable. Oh, my God. You know how much restraint I was like, it As soon as I heard it, I said, oh, no, he's having an outline stream, but he's no. sober. <laughs> shit. Do you know how Fuck much restraint me. it took for me not to play that clip? Oh, my God. Oh, yes. I could, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, you already you – I think it's done. I mean, I don't know. He's, how many more lawsuits? That guy's the most don't litigious give me, bitch. I can't. I can't. Oh, he's got, he's got on docs that. bounties on people so he can sue them, that people I know. And it's yes, like – I heard that. I don't know if that's true. Crazy. I've heard that. I'm going to Yes, that's, it's 100% true. He wants he wants to dox S.O. Shaggy and sue him. Uh, Purse of Cassidy he wants to drink that man's blood. I'm sure he's got other docs bounties out there. Anybody basically talks to you, he'll try to fucking – uh, sue him or take him to court just to not talk to you. It's kind of insane. Um, you know, I talked to him three different times and I basically told him, and, and, and this ain't a shot at you. It just, this is a fact. I said, I was like, you have two options from the way after, our, you know, after he kind of gave me his side of the story, I was like, well, from what you're saying, you got two options. You can either do this Chuck and Jive dance for 18 years and never work it out. And it's going to be just a nightmare on you and your family and him and his family. Or you could just t- grab a gun and just go take, you know, go take care of business and take thirty, 30 years because the way it sounds, it's like you just want it. You want drink. You want him dead. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like why drag everyone through it if that's what you want? You know, it's just nuts. 
I'll refrain. I'll let I'll let King of Paul discuss. Uh, you know, I'm I'm I have reasons that I won't comment uh, too deeply on that because well, uh, you don't don't say anything because I don't want to get you in trouble. It's yes. just it's just what happened, and he just kind of laughed and said, "Oh no, I could never." And I said, "So you're just going to go to war with this guy for 18 years? That's that's the plan." I said, "All right, bro, you tell me how that works out when the kid's like 13. You're fucking nuts. You know what I mean? Like you're just nuts." I do know what you mean. You know, I- <laughs> I like, do know what you it's mean. Like, what you, what, 10, 10, 20 years down the road. I mean, he did a whole fucking stream where he was, he basically just said, Hey, I'm doing this op where I'm going to force my daughter's boyfriend to marry her so he can try to adopt this other guy's kid because I hate him. And it's like, Whoa, bro. <laughs> well, I, you know, I didn't see that and I won't comment on that situation. You didn't in particular. see nothing. You didn't hear nothing. But uh, that's, that's not how, this is what I saw. That's not how it works uh, with, uh, you know. Rights oh well, stuff. I'm but, sure uh, he can. I'm sure I'll get a cease and desist. I, I'll you might actually. And, <laughs> I mean, I'll just wipe my ass with it and call it a day. I couldn't believe Dead Man actually fucking abided by what. Oh, uh, don't get me started. I, like, I can't. Be I can't talk about the particulars, but uh, yeah, it's got to. Does it suck, man? Does it suck? How yes. does that feel? I couldn't imagine, bro. I'd be losing my fucking mind. It does suck. Yeah, um, I can say Fuck that. Me, I, think. I think I can say that. It sucks. I will. Well, you know I commented on anything myself. As long as you and. As long as you and the baby mama are working out, so you can get you, see your son, I think that's all that matters. Well, I won't talk about that either. But I, you know, I have tried to. Um, I talked about this publicly. You know, there's a couple things um, leaving that person out of the conversation that we were talking about. Uh, I wasn't talking about, but you were talking about just there. Come here. Um, yeah. I'll leave him out. But um, yeah, I've tried to be a little more um, reasonable, I'd say. And there's some things that I've done uh, that I do regret. Uh, it's, you know, I mentioned this on air. You know, I kind of spiked the football after the last court thing and made a spectacle. And that was a, that was kind of a tough day for her. Now, I was celebrating, right? I felt like I was in the right at the time. But that was one of those things where I could have just, you know, taken my W kind of and just left, right? Uh, instead of instead of being my instead of being me, right? <laughs> Uh, and making it a huge spectacle. So, I, you know, I started thinking, I guess when you get sober, sometimes you start thinking about stuff from other people's shoes a little bit more. And so earlier I was talking about, you know, that had to be hard for you and thinking about, I don't know, it's just different now. Um, so, yeah, there's a few things uh, that I've that I've thought about that I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done that or, you know, that's not good. So I have tried to, as much as I well, can, you can't, you, make it You better, can't but, change the past, but what you can do is just work on, Right, maintaining a healthy well, that's relationship what they for your teach son. You. I think yeah. it's. Yeah, that's I what know you're, you. it's going to be difficult because of the situation and all the history, but you just do what you got to do for your kid, man. That's all that matters. Trust I me. appreciate you saying that, and yeah, if you notice, I haven't, you know, um, been saying no, anything about her or anything. So, um, no, you know, I'm hopeful. You've been chill for the most part. I mean, everybody. <laughs> I'm hopeful that <laughs> things, uh, you know, as it progresses, uh, work out. Um, I, I don't yeah. have anything negative to say uh, about the mother of my child, and so. Um, you know, that's kind of how I'm approaching it. Uh, I could say negative things about certain people, certainly, uh, but uh, <laughs> but well, I won't. If you wanted to, if you, with them, I would say just you know, yeah, work, just, you know, just yeah, water just under the bridge it. for all of them, no matter what, until you so you can just deal with your kid because they're looking for anything. You well, know you know, I mean? I've tr- I could I won't talk about it too much, but you know, some people, without naming any names, of course, some people just don't want peace, and some people just don't want you to be cool you know what i mean like they just want to well, fight they want to tear you down i'll tell you i'll tell you this man from one guy with kids to another you know it takes time yeah especially with stuff like this i, I mean it's just going to take time and and you're just going to just have to keep on the road that you're at you know maybe a year or two down the road it changes well know? that's I what mean, i hope you wanted to kill each other at one that's point right. and we're talking right now you never yeah know. you never know you never yeah, and people who know the history know like they're shocked i saw a couple yes. people in chat just like holy <laughs> shit what's going on you um, never know man you never know and i'm trying to keep a, a open mind and an even keel i guess uh, to yeah. put it that way and not get so you know some of the stuff is beyond the pale that i've seen um, but whatever like i'm a big boy i've been around for a while uh and i can handle just about anything uh that's said about me so or my loved ones but uh go ahead a long sim poignant sent three dollars good convo oh seven thank you i appreciate that i see mr hoopla says i've never expected this yeah it kind of just happened hey what's up wolfgang you're headed to kingpin kingpin on saturday i'm headed there tomorrow uh, so don't forget killstream.live. I should promote. Hey, that now, more. now don't don't drink too much. You know? I'm not don't drinking like at all. Pay for, I'm pay not for drinking that at Vegas all. party and claim you didn't do nothing wrong. No, but. I'm not drinking at all. To be clear, did you see that with Ricada? 
Um, I look, I squashed the beef with Rikada, so I look, I'm not. Did you really? Yeah, I did. That's good. I did. Didn't expect that. Right. Yeah, I was just like, whatever, I, you know, let's stop fighting. So I squashed the beef with him. I'm not drinking at all. I haven't drank at all in 21 days, and today's day 22. So no, no sips even. Don't offer to buy me a drink. I said this all week. Do not offer to buy me a drink at Kingpin because I'm going to get mad at you and not do that. So. Um, no, don't do that. I'll bring the breathalyzer too, because I'm sure the A logs and certain people expected me to drink there, but I'm not going to. So, um, right now that is it is a little different. You know, I was drinking at the last Kingpin for damn sure, and I was drinking at Ralph Mania <laughs> <laughs> as well. Um, so you know, but I, I've been doing all these shows completely sober and kind of changing my re rewiring myself a little bit, and uh, it's been working out great. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problems, but I'm still mindful of it for sure. Uh, you don't want to let yourself slip, so you gotta keep your guard up so yes it's something that i've thought about uh like preventing you know like don't offer me any drinks don't do anything uh but i don't even if somebody did that i wouldn't drink so i'm i've not right. really had except for a couple times like the airport there were so many people drinking and that was like the second day i was sober so it was still early on i was like do i really want to do this i could just have a frost well, that's kind of how it was man when i quit yeah. cigarettes I and mean, i was yeah. almost at two packs a day this was when i was like 23 and the only way i could do it was called turkey and i, I couldn't go to a bar for like six months because if I was just there, I wanted to smoke. Well, yeah. You know I mean? Well, drink drinking makes you want to smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially Fuck if you're yes, smoking. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Nowadays, you know, I mean, I've been, I haven't smoked a cigarette in a year. So it's like, it's whatever now. But that's one thing um, I've been that, struggling with is because, you know, I'm not doing anything else. And then I see all these people smoking. And I used to smoke too. Not that much, but like yeah. half a pack a day. And, but still, you know, decent smoker. And I like really have been, and they're so cheap down here. They're like $2.50 a pack. Right. And so I've really been having wow, to stop myself. Cheap. Yeah, I know. They don't have the same amount of taxes on the cigarettes here. And so I've really oh, had no. to it's just It's like $10 stop in Florida. Like, I know. Florida. They're you know, $2.50 $10. a pack here in Merida. Yeah, like they're cheap as fuck. So I've stopped yeah. myself because I don't want to pick that back up because that's really bad for you. But um, I've thought about that many times. And I'm like, nobody would begrudge me a cigarette. Maybe I should have one. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, no, I haven't. So I've been fighting that. You know, you know what I've been trying to, you know, uh, just kind of get on another thing is, is uh, sure. the Worski boxing thing, man. <sighs> um, I think you should have took the fight, man. I mean, it, it just decided the rules, the rules. I mean, now Worski doesn't even have, have a chin. He's got a glass chin. Well, I would have won. I mean, you do, you definitely have a chin. We've seen, we've seen, we've seen yeah. you. You don't get knocked out, brother. <laughs> yeah, I said that. But, yeah, yeah, it's pretty hard. So to knock, I've never been knocked I said, out. I said Ralph's got that liquid, that liquid chin, man. He gets one drink in him, and you can't knock that bitch out. He just, <laughs> you can fucking hit him with a chair or something, and he can just he can keep on trucking. I, mean, I can, you know, I've taken some ass whoopers, but I've never taken a knockout. Uh, no, I haven't seen you ever been knocked out either. I don't yeah. think anybody could say that about you. But Ralph, he's got like a glass chin. I was telling, um, I was telling Gobbinson, I said, he said, you know, you're about the same size and fit. As Worski, you should you should see if you reach out to Kim and you should go box his ass at the next Misfits event in London That'd or whatever. Sick. Would that his would be ass. sick. Yeah, I would watch. Well, the it'd fuck be the it. perfect match because they're about the same. I think they're almost the same height. Um, maybe I don't know. I don't know how tall Gobinson is. Maybe Gobinson's a little bit taller, but they're about the same body type. You know. Um, yeah. And I think I think it'd be helpful. Well, see, the thing but. is, Keith Star is a shyster, to be quite honest. And um, you know, he was talking about a hundred thousand dollars, which of course was not anywhere near uh, what he. I was think that was the total purse. I think that was the total like, purse for both fight for both. No, for like maybe his whole budget, um, but he paid Worski ten grand. And I have that on good authority. I don't. I don't believe that. I think it was more than that. I think well, that well, was his, his upfront. Purse. Look, Wings and Boogie that, only got ten grand a piece. So Did they really, yeah, and that's been put out in public Whoa, by Boogie. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, so there's no that. way Worsey got more. I mean, yeah, that's kind of strange. Wow, I thought they'd get more than that just because so of how many people they brought in. For well, I would think at least 20, 20 15 views. or 20, right? Like, Anonymous sent three dollars. Worsey would find a way to lose against Hot Wheels. Where is Hot Wheels? Is he dead, by the way? I haven't seen him in forever. He bought, uh, he bought, well, fuck that crippled bitch, but he <laughs> bought, uh, he bought a uh, 420 Chan from that from some dude. He's trying to run another Chan board. No, and, like, he didn't like. Yeah, I mean, he's he just, bought 420 Chan. I don't even know. Yeah, he bought 420. So the only chan. reason but I know 420 like, Chan he, is because you of the probably wrestling. Probably bring him on your show at some point because he, he's he been hates on. all. He fucking he went balls yeah, he deep does. on Josh. Him and Josh hate each other. That's one of his redeeming qualities that he hates Josh. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he's kind of a. I mean, I watched his little documentary and shit, and it was kind of shot out, and I think he was he was flaring some shit up, but. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's like a hardcore leftist now or some yeah, shit. And I don't know. Yeah, he definitely he's, is. Who knows? And I had no idea, um, that he bought 420 Chan. And I only know 420 Chan because, um, 
They used to have the woo board on there. I guess they still do. I don't yeah. know. And it would have links well, to like free wrestling. Well, he was the first guy that fucked me over. Fuck that crippled bitch. He actually Fuck did. Fuck him and his stupid face. He did. He fucked me over, butt. bro. Do you he want to tell that story? Me over good. Yeah, because that's how. Basically, they fucked. It. Uh, he kneecapped him during the middle of Gamergate. Kind of. He kind of fucked over all of Gamergate, really. Uh, yeah, he did. He I mean, ruined well, he, it. He thought he, he was doing it. Save it. I mean, fuck, man. I mean, I can. I, it was so simple. Um, I get these fucking emails that look legit. I send, I get him in a call because he was, I was friends with him and Milo Yiannopoulos. I give him to Milo and I said, Milo, can you check if this is Denton? Uh, you know, the guy who owned uh, Kotaku at the time. So wait, goes, let me yeah, explain it. Couple... Let me explain it real quick. The Denton post was a post on Facebook that was allegedly by, uh, fuck, I forgot his first name now. Nick Denton. And, I can't remember. His yeah, it was it's Nick. the owner of Kotaku. I think it was Nick Denton. And or he, Gawker. Yeah, he owned, Gawker. he owned Gawker. And it was Gawker Media, though. So he owned Gawker yeah, and Kotaku so Gawker and Jezebel Media. and uh, what, Jalopnik and a couple other Deadspin. Mm-hmm. Back then, they were really powerful, too. Like, it was it's different than yeah, it is now. Else. Like, they and were Hogan super. Broke them. Yeah, they were super powerful. Yeah, Hogan literally broke them. And so. Hogan, there, Hogan brought them to WrestleMania and broke their back. There was a post on Facebook, and it was Nick Denton saying, Oh, my evil plan worked, basically. And these guys are so dumb. And. Da, 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 da. And it was a bunch of it was a, it was just a bunch of shit of him bitching yeah, uh, yeah. about people people leaking stuff yeah, essentially. Yeah. But yes. um, I had given him before I even talked about it openly. I gave it to Milo and he said, "Give me a couple of days." And mm-hmm. I, he was in the call with me and I said, "Because he ran, you know, at the time that was where everybody went for the Gamergate board, if you recall." Yes. So I brought him and Milo in, thinking, "Hey, you know, th- this is going to spread." And he was like, "Well, we should run it." And I said, "Okay." So I pushed it out there, and I said, "Let's just go with it." That was my mistake. That's the only mistake I'll admit to because that truly was my mistake. Was I should have waited for Milo. And then, like two days passed, and Milo's like, "I couldn't get it. I couldn't get a call back from him." So just don't run it. And I was like, "Well, that's too late." And so I get off the phone with Milo, him, and he's like, "Hey," I said, "Hey, I'm going to sleep." And this piece of shit, crippled fuck, writes this bullshit article. Docs is my girlfriend at the time, who was in college. For, for gaming or whatever. She was like becoming a game journalist or not a game journalist, but uh, making video games and uh, writes this bullshit article. You know which one I'm talking about. Puts the whole fucking thing out there and lies about a bunch of shit yes. in it. I call him the next, I call, I wake up in the morning and all this crazy shit. I call him and he's like, I had to protect the integrity of my website due to your fuck up by running this too early. And I was like, bitch, you ran it with me. We all agreed. We all agreed. What the fuck you mean? He's a little bitch, bro. Don't ever do a partnership with Hot Wheels. That bitch will fuck you. And lie and throw you under a bus if he can just to get out from a fire. That's just the way it is. And it was the dumbest shit too, because they act like that killed Gamergate, and really, really it didn't. So it. <laughs> no, it kept going after that, but it like it threw off a lot of the um, like team mentality, and people started breaking off into camps a little bit more. Not that that didn't happen well, it already. Was, I mean, we we talk, You remember this? You remember the fucking thing? Like Jarbo and those guys knew about it. The council, that dumbass shit. The yeah. council of Gamergate, dumbass yes. shit. Where I told them I wasn't going to do that dumb shit, and they thought, oh, we'll fuck, we'll we'll fuck him over with other people on this whole Denton thing, and then we'll take his audience. And that just didn't happen. I mean, well, there was a happen. group Even of people day, who tried, tried to, to that wasn't real. There was a group of people who tried to manipulate um, which sources were used, which people got promoted, um, and they that tried to keep me show. out of that too. Uh, now it didn't work because I was going on your show, you know, I was going on Medicare show, all this stuff. Um, but there were a lot of people that never like wanted me to get a foothold at all. Uh, uh, that was a long, you know, that was a lot of stuff with that, but that was just fuck hot wheels, bro. That was the first guy that ever fucked me over to save it for, for no re- really no reason. He didn't even have to do all that. He could have just waited to the morning. We would have talked. And then, um, I would have just been like, Hey, I fucked up just bad info. And we got trolled. No big deal. But that bitch was like, Oh, it was all him. I was just, I was following or It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, like, he it made was, it out like he, you betrayed him or some shit. And like, yeah, you know, it was yeah, bullshit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was complete bullshit from the top down. It was literally, I got some fucking email. I sent it. I, I got into a Skype call with Milo and him, asked them what they thought, gave it to Milo. And then me and him both agreed. We thought it'd be a good idea just to talk. Go Anonymous with it. It was sent nuts. $3 update on coach red pill at the beginning of this video. Uh, okay. Shit's dead. I don't know. It's not good. Anonymous sent three dollars. Gamergate got way too many redditor leftists. Yeah, and then you start. Well, at the beginning, we, there were still leftists there, but they kind of right. like knew to tolerate. <laughs> so there was. Do you remember when I when I used the word autism and they all jumped my skin? Yeah. I. I, I do, uh, do you remember what happened when I said, "Okay, that's fine. I'll donate like uh, like I think it was like five hundred bucks to." autism awareness and they got even more angry at me because apparently autism awareness is like a group that wants to like genocide autistic people i didn't even know that they were just the number one people's uh, charity group for autism 
<laughs> Holy shit. I do remember that, actually. Um, I don't know. Early on, it was different. Good day. Where there were still leftists, but they they tolerated or, or participated. So I would do my own thing. My thing was wrecking SJWs, to use the word we used back then. Um, and so I would just be writing, like, really nasty hit pieces on our enemies, pretty much, and going on shows and shitting on them. And well, you showed up at uh, Wu, Brown and Wu's little fucking Yeah, yeah. Out, yeah. Got thrown out of that. that. But uh, that, that was, like was, was kind of my role, and people didn't really like it back then, but, you know, we were more of a coalition. And then once the stuff happened with you, Medicare got all salty, and then he stopped coming around. And, you know, he was also getting with Jade, I guess, at that time too. So uh, yeah, he yeah. left shortly thereafter and started getting well, he like, got approached. Me and him got approached by a bunch of people that were like venture capitalists that want to do startups. Uh, around Gamergate. That was what really threw him off. A lot of people didn't know that, but there was one guy that came up who offered us like, it was an insane amount of money to do like this, this playboy, um, playboy journalist where these, these porn stars would review games and play them. Um, and then there was uh, another guy who wanted to buy a fucking satellite. I don't <laughs> What the hell? It was just a bunch of this shit going on, and they kept saying, we would love you guys to advertise this. We would love you to advertise this. And he, after like the fifth one, uh, he lost his fucking mind. He was like, fuck these people. So that's kind of how that went. I mean, I thought everybody knew that, but I guess not. Well, you know, Coach Redpill, I remember having this conversation speaking to Coach Redpill. He would always say that Medicare was scared uh, and afraid of actually doing anything to no, um, to we kept getting. I mean, you remember this was this is the same thing that happened to Sargon and all that dumb shit. Yeah. You know, it was we would have these weird venture capitalist approaches wanting us to represent some fucking shit that they were doing. It was like a Ponzi scheme or something strange, like buying a fucking seal or buying a satellite or uh, buying some fucking moon rock for a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, it was nuts. And we would be like, Hey man, we just want, we just want video games not to be shit. And they'd be like, no, 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 let's, let's do that. But also um, let's, let's try to scheme some money out of it. And he just got like, after like the fifth or sixth one, it was like, me and him were just like, what the fuck? Like, this is just everybody, everybody who's like, uh, you know, everybody who's a Joe Schmo that's looking a way to scam some people out of money is just now popping up. So he was just like, I'm out. So I know nothing about being scared. It was just people kept, kept harassing him. To well, that was always coach's theory. Of course, uh, you know, coach has a lot of theories. Well, coach is a retard. He said women <laughs> should be dogs. I mean, he's a fucking, well, he's dead now. No matter. Now wait, hold kid. on. We don't know that. I, I, I have Come to, on now, Ralph. It's not looking that man great. is not making it out of Ukraine alive. He's stupid enough to stay. That was really bizarre. Hold on, let's play this. Apparently, I mean, there's not only was he stupid enough to say, but they found him in contact with like Russian Russian assets that were funneling him money. I mean, how fucking stupid are you to stay in Ukraine and do that? Yeah, well, that's what I said. Um, you know, he claimed to be on house arrest. First off, I think he could have still got out. Second off, it's like, okay, well, you're on house arrest. Don't fucking piss off <laughs> the Ukrainians. Yeah, he's, like, he's I don't done. say. Uh, let me play well, this because apparently there's an update. Let me. I don't know. Good day. Wait, who's this? Before I get to the various news topics of this program, I want to return again to the question of the arrest of my friend. Gonzalo Lira. He was arrested some time ago in Kharkov by the SBU, and the SBU have made certain claims against him. They seem to be intent to bring some kind of prosecution against him. And I have said yeah, already I that so. I think the, claim, the case against him is completely threatened. looks fairly strong to me. And has no foundation in fact. Now, just to return to that, from what I can see, Gonzalo is essentially being accused of taking steps against the Ukrainian armed forces. Apparently he photographed them and said some um, rude things about them and about the Ukrainian government, or that's how the um, SBU Dude, likes dumbass, to right? and I'll tell you express why the dumbass, story. Right, but I want to will. say... Hold on, let me pause it, let me pause it. Hold on, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I, like this guy's a dumbass for one simple reason. I think we can all understand this. Let's put common sense in here, right? Imagine if America was like having a war and half the country was like invaded or a portion of the country was invaded. Who knows who just we're dealing with that. Like we have actual like real combat, like New York's under siege, that kind of shit. Right, Ralph. And let's say you were just firing up your stream and you were like, fuck America, fuck America, pro China. Let's fucking go like fuck this country over and over again. While like, <laughs> while they're like fucking, artillery shelling like fucking subdivisions in memphis tennessee or some shit you know what i mean like imagine for a minute and do you think 
the military would like you if you're just sitting there fucking spamming that shit on the radio. <laughs> they will put you in jail. No. They changed the law during wartime. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, remember in World War II, they put all the Japanese people yeah. in camps. They yeah. did this all the time. The Korean War, uh, Vietnam right. War, there was a lot of fucking World shit. World War One, they put motherfuckers in jail. Like, I mean, like, um, That's yeah. That's just a way the par for the course. You can't, you can't, it's just stupid. Like, do not sit in the opposing country that is in the middle of a conflict, literally in their own backyard, and start yelling for the for the other team to win at the top of your lungs out the window. Like, what is wrong with you? Are you fucking stupid? It's not going to work. It wouldn't work in America. It wouldn't work in Mexico either. Well, I mean, uh, he was a con artist. He wasn't a smart man. He was a con artist. So Yeah, he's good he when it comes to the con. People. Now, let me play a little bit more because maybe he has some type of update. I don't know if that's it. or I mean, I, I didn't that's think the Ukrainians it. were going to. I don't gonna, think anybody's going to hear from him again. I didn't think they were going to drop the charges. All right, let me play a minute, though. I think that Gonzalo can Can you hear set. that, by the way? You can hear it, yeah, because you're on Telegram. All, right, cool. all done could in any way be considered um, to have undermined the Ukrainian war effort. He'd never this guy's broadcast a in Ukrainian, for example. And, of course, he has never had... By the way, fuck Ukraine, but I'm just saying, like, any country would lock you up. Uh, ...access to classified yeah, information. This, this is stupid, bro. It's yeah. wartime, bro. You it's don't do even, this in your own backyard. Yeah. It's not about being pro-Ukraine. We've been back in Russia this whole time. Do they had people fucking on the airwaves, on the radio, no. going, yeah, so Adolf Hitler's a great guy. He should win. <laughs> fuck America for doing D-Day. What? Come on, No. Yeah, no. it's like some Tokyo Rose shit. Like, what in the hell? I don't know. by Ukraine. This is just people sorted. who've gotten too lazy and too comfortable with modern internet. Well, they I don't, don't underst- understand what he's They don't understand what's going on, so they kick the door in, bro. Then it's a problem. Yeah, and then it's like, oh, free speech, this and that. It's like, well, you're in the middle of the war. You're in Ukraine. Um, yeah, if, he, if he wanted to talk shit, when he got arrested the first time he got released, he should have found a way to take his family and go to Russia and just go fucking be on, our, on Russia today. And then he could have done all the shit talking he wanted. You know, as a war correspondent, sure. or some dumb shit. But well, yeah, he, I mean, he's been on there before. I think they offered him jobs. Well, right, he could still so, go on there and sick. say, "I would live in Ukraine. And I have some knowledge." Like, it's he could still have that. You know what I mean? But he wanted to be nah, in it's Ukraine. Just stupid. It's like, dude, what I mean, the he's fuck? just stupid, man. It's, Especially because he's a fucking moron. He was already on their radar too. It's like, uh, what are you doing, dude? Like, he's lucky. I mean, did you see the video where he got arrested? The guy, fit, the fucking yeah, hotel dude. guy, fist bumped him. Right? You I know did. that dude is the one that called on him. Was like, "Fuck this guy." I you did know, see that. Probably like all my my brother died in the war, or some shit, or the Russians like captured my family. Like fuck this guy in this hotel room. They said it to like music, <laughs> like some kind of fucking. I don't even know what kind of music that was. Yeah, but, they uh, knew. They knew what was up. They were probably sick of his shit. Yeah, I imagine they were. Yeah. Um, all right, let me play the rest of this. He's it's only a couple minutes, I think. Oh. Publicized it. He has done absolutely nothing, in other words, which could in any way compromise or undermine the position of Ukraine. So I see no basis at all for his arrest or his intended prosecution. If the Ukrainians don't like um, the fact that Gonzalo says the things that he does about them in their country, which... I can understand. Um, they can perhaps decide to deport him, to ask him to leave Ukraine. I know that he would not want that. I know that he has very strong feelings and connections to Ukraine and to Kharkov, his, the city where he lives. But as I said, if that's what the Ukrainians want to do, it is their right to do it, their sovereign right to do it. They can always ask any foreign national on their territory to leave. What they're not, it seems to me, within their rights to do is to bring the kind of prosecution against Gonzalo that they are doing. I'm aware of all these various laws that I thought Ukraine there was passed about criticising the Ukrainian military. I think those laws are major violations of civil rights. OK, well, look, I mean, you can say that, but... Um, you know, the Ukrainians are not going to agree with you. Um, so it's like, okay, yeah, my civil rights, but... Uh, Does this guy really think that Chile gives a fuck about, about look like my oh, Gonzalo Lira? Are we serious right now? Wins. He isn't a U.S. citizen. Uh, you don't give a fuck about him. Yeah, no, I think he has U.S. citizenship. I think so. Does he? I didn't think yeah. so. They said he only had Chilean citizenship. Really? Only well, single. I know he had it at one point, I think, because I think I saw his passport, but I, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, now I'm not sure. Maybe they just conveniently left that out so they can have Anonymous so sent three dollars. How are you going to go to Ukraine and be this ignorant about how Eastern Europe operates? They have never tolerated this type of thing. Slavs are brutal. 
Yeah, that's. Like, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, not even that. It's like you don't even have to go that far as a race thing, right? Like, imagine if your family members were like killed in action fighting for your fucking neighborhood, and this jackass down the street is screaming about how base that is. You you should already. It's like it's that it's that obvious. Eventually, people are gonna get sick of you screaming out the window about how base that is. You know, it's just stupid. He's a dumbass, and uh, it's sad what happened to him. But I mean, just take it as a telltale sign. If hey, if you guys are in wartime and there's shit going on. Do, shut your fucking mouth or, you know, defect, leave the fucking country and go to the place you want to love so much. You know what I mean? Like I see somebody in chat said, if I, if I had Chilean citizenship, I would just go to Chile. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Um, I don't know. It's I'm just not stupid, sure. man. I mean, it's, stupid. it's dumb all around. I think we can all agree on that. I mean, it is what it is. So I can 100% but agree. Coach with it. was a slimy fuck anyway. So yeah, I, I even had an issue with the guy, uh, other than like somebody just showed me some of the shit he did. And then I was like, oh, this is interesting. And we talked to that economist guy, and he lost his mind, and he never wanted to answer anything about it. He just wanted to scream. So I was like, never mind. You know, fuck it. So. Yeah, Coach is kind of weird. I don't know. And he did stab me in the back and several other people. So, he you know, I'm not going to root bro. for him to stay in jail, whatever. But, you know, I'm trying to be nicer. But uh, that being said, he was major league retarded uh, for what he was doing, and I understand why he's in jail. I don't expect him to get out uh, anytime soon, and he's – uh, didn't look no, they're so gonna good. Kill him, bro. <laughs> no, they don't kill him. They're gonna beat him half to death. They probably him already fingers. beat him. Yeah, that's the type of shit they do, um, for sure. So, yeah, he got black bag by Azov. Yeah, well, their intelligence unit, whatever the SBU, I think, uh, is it SBU? I can't remember. Or is that the yeah, Russian SBU. one? Yeah, I think it's the SBU. Um, they came in and just swept through, and they were showing all the. They showed his kids. They were showing his apartment and everything else. Like, damn. I think it fucked. Yeah, they fucked him over pretty good. To them, he's a traitor, you know. It's like, hey, you live here, you know, you're a fucking traitor. We don't give a shit. Right. Well, I mean, like I said, they would do that here, too, in Mexico. Yes, they would. They would do that anywhere. Yeah, it's not. That would happen pretty much anywhere. Um, But, man, I appreciate you stopping by today. Why don't you tell people, you know, give a little rap here, anything you want to say. Um, Um, uh, Yeah, I guess. Um, I don't really do shows much anymore. I've got... I've got my exceptional detective channel and stuff like that. I'm not really a content creator. I do I do things from time to time when I feel like talking about it. But um, yeah, no, uh, I'm just glad you're good and you sound better. Thank you, man. Uh, I wish you luck and uh, fuck Josh, I agree. and um, you know, and fuck Gator, fuck Brian Hallman in North Carolina. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you, sir. I That's appreciate good. it. it was mean, good he, to, hey, good he's to talk the one to that said doxing was based in cool, bro. I'm just going off of what Gator rolls here. Yeah, that's so, the Gator rules. I don't know. Thank you, sir. King so, of Paul. I'll, Throwback Thursday. I mean, I, I think you should have gone down to that college and let him know what's up, man. He was all cool and dandy. And well, now you know, all... I had the information. I could have actually went down there. Um, Bro, but... you know what blows my mind is the other day I was looking at, like, PPP's Twitter, and he was, like, retweeting Jared Holt and Right Wing Watch. Yeah, about, because it was it. something anti-us. Yeah, or anti net You know how fucking crazy that is? Anonymous said they three dollars. They goes. probably turned him into a wartime stress ball <laughs> and worked his dumb face to a pulp. I would imagine so. But yeah, I did see probably. that. They've been retweeting Right Wing Watch and stuff too. I mean, are you fucking that Jared Holt? Are you fucking kidding me? That piece of shit? That's amazing. That's how I couldn't even. Are. You know, I got my own my own criticism of Nick Fuentes and the cozy stuff, but you know, it, it, we're not really cozy. We're America first, but it's like I would never support Jared Holt. There's just no fucking way. <laughs> That's how far it's they like, fall. Uh, it's like good old Teddy. Good old Teddy was like uh, going the A log communities with you, and he was like Anonymous showing off your parts of, uh, of Western yeah. Europe and the U S. used to allow some dissent some to dissent. be voiced during wartime. Probably only part of the world, and that's likely over now, though. Yeah, I think it's pretty over now, right. but it's some dissent. You know, he was, like, virulently, it was different. If you watch the material, and we pulled some of it up, it was, like, 100% anti-Ukraine, talking about they're not a real country, and they're going to be split up, and the country's never going to recover, and, you know, all that might be true. <laughs> but, like, you're saying that in the middle of Ukraine while they're getting shelled every day. Um, oh. Not a good idea. I forgot to ask you, Rob, before I bounce, uh, I do want to ask you one thing. So, sure. I, I obviously, I follow you on Telegram. But, sure. yeah. Um, so, why why did you – hold on. All right, we got to pause there. He's eating, making me hungry. I can't eat till 5. Over halfway there, sixth-hour fund on your screen. Apologies for that. My That's kid fun. just ran in the room. That's um, cool. So, so uh, the other day, right, you went, you went balls deep on Big Tech. What did he – I didn't really understand because I don't follow Big Tech. What did he actually do? Because uh, I found it funny that RPG was, like, tweeting out his arrest record on how awful that was. And he was like, we support you. The A-Log community supports you. And I'm like, what? 
Yeah, now now they're all cheerleading him. Um, well, he's been a thorn in my side and a lot of people's side for quite some time. Um, his I mean, show is just got shit to flamenco and gator, bro. Remember yeah. when Jim passed the torch of flamenco and gator? We watched that live. I was like, what the fuck? And like, what is it? Like a month later, flamenco comes out and, and he's a fucking pedophile. I mean, come on. Yeah, I come mean, I, these people don't care as long as they can use somebody to go against me or go against Nick or go against people they don't like. They don't give a fuck. If I was to do that, and I'm not going to, but if I was to do it, as hard as it is to believe, they probably start half of them start cheering me. Uh, well, of course and they would. So, if, they, if, if, yeah. if any of us did it, they would do it. Yeah, and that's all they care about. It doesn't have to be logical or anything else. But, yeah, these people were talking about Big Tech should be in prison, and he's scum of the earth, and this and that. And then as soon as he started you know, playing into the A-logs and you know, tailoring his content for them, they immediately – Switched their tone. Um, and well, I so, mean, people were saying that Big Tech was like a serial killer or something like that back when he was having his issue right. with Big Papa Fascist. Yeah. Because they were like, because he was coming off as unhinged about Big Papa Fascist. Whatever you think of the guy. He was like saying some crazy shit about going to the guy's house, like fucking up his family and this. You remember that? I, I do, and I show. remember, I and I still and still it, didn't fully defend it, but I remember having to be on air. And no, you were about, just kind of like, ooh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, whoa, I don't know. This but people crazy. back then were like, oh, this guy. This guy's another what, – what's that guy's name? The guy that uh, stabbed his the, – the former writer you had. Was, it's not Lane Oh, Lane Davis. Lane Davis. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it was Lane Davis, right? They were like, it's another Lane – I think Jim said it. looks that. like Jim Lane said, It's Davis. a Lane Davis in the making. It's yeah. a it's a Lane Davis in the making. And now now they're all like, this guy's based. Fuck Ralph. He's based. Yeah, they, I saw him you know? calling him base tech and shit. It's like, what are you t- – Big game. Yeah. Big gay. Big gay. That's Big what gay I call him. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Tag. Here goes a super chat. Anonymous sent $3. I wonder why they hate Nick so much. He's mostly ignored them oh, no. because they're below his level. You think they'd hate you more. I suspect checks being cut. Well, I don't I don't rule that out for sure, especially with some of the stuff we've seen. Um, All right, but, man. Well, I'll let you go. I've taken up enough time. I just thank you, uh, brother. thought I'd call in. And it was fun. I guess I just hash it out uh, on air if there was anything, but not really. I mean. We're, okay. we're adults now, you know, Ralph. We were young yeah. and stupid. And I'm a little, it's a different you know, time. especially somebody I have some history with. You know, if, if they're coming in peace and we're talking, uh, I have no, you know, let's just talk. Yeah, that's all good, right? So, so yeah, uh, I donated you when you had that Amazon. Yeah. Which was, I said water on the bridge. Yeah, that's right. Crazy. I remember that now, actually, uh, now that you mention yeah. it. Um, so thank you for that. And yeah, there's no problems with me. Uh, and you, so, so. all right, man, you have a good time on your show. Um, thank I you, hope man. PPP feels well. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking of the streaming, but, um, I don't know. I don't wish death on a lot of people. So, <laughs> so it's like, well, I try not I to, know. but <laughs> he's just a path. You know, the thing with him is he's just like a pathological liar and I hope he, he gets some help or something for it. Cause it's nuts how he is. And, um, you know, the fact that his whole beef with you wasn't even real is kind of insane, but he'll never address that. And, no, I don't it think he will because it it's kind of like his lore, you know, that he created. But, um, but yeah, man, I appreciate you calling in. Call in some other time. Uh, we'll have you yeah, back on. Yeah, I will. I will. You right. have a good one, man. All right, brother. You take care. Be safe. Right. See, you. see you. Yep. Man. See ya. That is King of Paul right there, and we gave a little history lesson early on in the in the call, and then there was a break, and I was giving some more history, and he had some more time. He jumped back in. So shout out to him. I would have never expected that uh, that would be happening. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.